The CEO of Toyota, the world's biggest automaker, has been in the headlines for quite some time for exciting news that's shaking the entire industry to its core. Akio Toyota didn't just announce a new engine, he declared war on the whole EV movement. They claim to have a revolutionary new engine that's cleaner, cheaper, and more powerful than anything on the road, including electric. So is this just another marketing ploy, or is there something genuinely groundbreaking brewing at Toyota? In this video, we will get into the details of this new engine and how it will change everything about EVs. Stay with us until the end, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel first. When people think of innovation in the automotive industry, they often think of Toyota. The company has a long history of satisfying customers with dependable and efficient features, once again making news with a revolutionary discovery that might disrupt the industry. Toyota continues its tradition of innovative breakthroughs, this time focusing on alternative propulsion techniques. Until now, this secretive development has kept the electric vehicle industry on its toes, but it could soon cause a revolution in the automotive industry. The revolutionary idea originated at GAC Group, a state-owned Chinese manufacturer in which Toyota Motor Corporation has a sizable share. GAC Group's development of the first engine fueled by ammonia has piqued the interest of the automobile industry. The chemical molecule ammonia, which has one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, is the fuel that powers this engine. In contrast to more conventional fuels like oil or gas, ammonia does not release carbon dioxide when burned, since it contains no carbon atoms. There is hope for a better future for the environment thanks to the advent of ammonia engines, which might drastically cut pollution levels. Ammonia as a fuel source allows these engines to function with low carbon emissions, a major problem with traditional internal combustion engines. This innovation may change people's minds about EVs and end their monopoly on the electric vehicle market. Engines driven by ammonia have the potential to influence customer tastes and the future of the electric vehicle market because of the fewer emissions and improved sustainability they offer. To continue pushing change and creating the future of mobility, Toyota is leading the way in creative solutions as the automotive industry evolves. A lot of different methods exist for getting ammonia engines to work well. Each has its pros and cons. One way is to separate ammonia into two parts, hydrogen and nitrogen. After that, the hydrogen is put into a fuel cell which turns it into energy. One company that used this method was Amogi, which showed off the world's first zero emissions ammonia powered tractor in partnership with John Deere. Another way is to mix ammonia with other fuels like gasoline, gas, or hydrogen before burning them. This mixture makes it easier to start a fire and helps it stay going. Man Energy Solutions used this method to make a two-stroke green ammonia engine that is perfect for use in boats. Using pure ammonia as the primary power source is a third option. But for this way to work, high-tech tools like spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. These cutting-edge technologies make it easier to control when and how much gas is used in combustion, which makes ammonia engines work better and use less fuel. Through all of these ways, ammonia could be used as a fuel that is both practical and good for the environment in many fields from farming to shipping. It is believed that ammonia engines will completely change the electric vehicle market. They provide an eco-friendly, less expensive, and longer-term solution to the problem of vehicle power, which could lessen our dependency on fossil fuels. Take GAC's amazing 2-liter four-cylinder engine as an example. They boast that it can reduce carbon emissions by 90% while producing 161 horsepower. However, there have been several snags in the ammonia engine development process. Autocar stated that GAC encountered challenges during the engine's development, including controlling growing combustion pressure and excessive nitrogen emissions. Despite these challenges, ammonia remains a viable option for future transportation demands due to its flammability and minimal carbon, hydrocarbon, or CO2 emissions upon combustion. Its environmental advantages are enormous despite its energy density being only 3.6 kilowatt per hour per liter, almost half that of gasoline. Ammonia is getting a lot of attention as a fuel that's kinder to the environment, but there are some challenges to tackle. It's more challenging to ignite than regular fuels and burns slower too. However, scientists have made some big breakthroughs in making ammonia burn faster and better. Ammonia is made of nitrogen and hydrogen and can be produced from solar, wind, or hydropower sources. It's got a lot of energy packed into it, and when it burns, it doesn't release harmful carbon dioxide into the air. But getting ammonia to burn well has been a challenge. Regular fuels like petrol have been easier to use because they ignite more easily and burn at hotter temperatures. It has made it hard to use ammonia in things like cars, where we need them to work reliably and perform well. 
Luckily, engineers have been working hard to solve this problem. They've devised new ways to make ammonia ignite quickly and burn smoothly by using fancy techniques like spark ignition, direct injection, and recycling exhaust gases. They figured out how to make ammonia work effectively in cars. Reducing vehicle pollution and relying less on fossil fuels that harm the environment could be a big deal. An engineer at the GACR center named Chi Hong Dong told the public that he was excited about figuring out how to make ammonia a fuel that can be used in passenger cars despite its low burning rate. He talked about how flexible ammonia is because it can power internal combustion engines, fuel cells, or hybrid systems, depending on the customer's wants. He also said hydrogen is harder to store and move than ammonia because it must be under pressure or frigid temperatures. Toyota is looking into alternative fuels like ammonia, traditional electric vehicles, and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Mirai as part of its complete plan for pollution-free transportation. Toyota's investments in engines that run on ammonia hint that they might be used in places like China, and there are chances for growth as technology improves. Even though there are problems, ongoing improvements in ammonia, engine technology, and strategic participation by big companies like Toyota point to a future with cleaner and more environmentally friendly ways to get around. China has the world's biggest market for electric cars, but there is still a lot of desire for cars with gas engines. However, there are signs that the Chinese government might consider banning vehicles with internal combustion engines, similar to California's rules. It could mean big changes for ammonia-powered cars in the Chinese market. These cars could help reduce our reliance on oil imports and clean the air by producing less pollution and less carbon. China's possible leadership in using vehicles that run on ammonia could set an example for the rest of the world. There is hope for reviving combustion engines using other fuels such as synthetic fuels, ammonia, and hydrogen. Innovative fuel sources may one day be more cost-effective to manufacture than entirely electric vehicles, making them more accessible to a broader audience as an environmentally conscious and convenient alternative. By dominating the Chinese market and developing electric vehicles specifically for the country, Toyota shows that it cares about its customers' varied tastes. This all-encompassing plan aligns with the company's investigations into technologies such as ammonia-powered engines. We are curious to see if this technology ever becomes commercially available, and if so, if it will be launched worldwide. An intriguing new component to the continuous shift towards more sustainable transportation options is the possible incorporation of alternative fuel-powered vehicles, such as those that use ammonia, into China's changing automotive scene. Vehicles fueled by ammonia have the potential to greatly impact global warming mitigation, oil dependency reduction, and air quality improvement efforts, both in China and beyond. Though they haven't been the pioneers in this field, GAC and Toyota have made remarkable strides in developing ammonia engines. Significant progress was completed approximately 10 years ago by the Korean Institute for Energy Research with the development of the AMVE, a vehicle that reduced carbon emissions significantly by using a blend of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline. While GAC's engine does manage to reduce carbon emissions by 90%, which suggests using a different fuel source, this hybrid technique could make the engine more practical and valuable by addressing issues with ammonious features, like its poor flame propagation speed. This hybrid method has the potential to enhance the engine's overall efficacy by leading to a more adaptable and smooth performance across a range of driving circumstances. Efforts to use ammonia as a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source for combustion engines are ongoing. While different projects have taken different approaches, more advancements and improvements in this area will likely help reach our future green transportation targets. Reduced reliance on oil imports and air pollution levels in China and worldwide with ammonia engines a low carbon and cost-effective alternative to fossil fuels. What do you think about this new engine? Do let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.